Hello friends, welcome to PharmaCam Insights. In this video, we will see some common interview question and answers on thin layer chromatography that is PLC. So let's get started. First question, what is TLC? TLC is a chromatographic technique used to separate and identify compounds in a mixture using a stationary face and a mobile face. Next question, what is the stationary phase in TLC? So answer is, the stationary phase is a thin layer of adsorbent, usually silica gel or alumina, coated on a glass, metal or plastic plate. Next question, what is the mobile phase in TLC? So answer is, the mobile phase is a solvent or a mixture of solvents that moves through the stationary phase by capillary action. Next question, what is the principle behind TLC? The principle behind TLC is it separates compounds based on their relative affinities for the stationary and mobile phases leading to different rates of movement. Next question, how do you calculate the RF value in TLC? The RF value retention factor is calculated as RF is equal to distance traveled by substance divided by distance traveled by solvent. Next question, what does a high RF value indicate? So answer is a high RF value indicates that the compound has a higher affinity for the mobile phase and moves faster on the TLC plate. Next question, what does a low RF value indicate? A low RF value indicates that the compound has a higher affinity for the stationary phase and moves slower on the TLC plate. Next question, what are the common adsorbents used in TLC? So answer is silica gel and alumina are the most commonly used adsorbents in TLC. Next question, why is silica gel used in TLC? So answer is silica gel is used because it is polar and provides strong interactions with polar compounds aiding in separation. Next question. What factors affect the RF value in TLC? The factors that affect the RF value in TLC include solvent polarity, adsorbent type, plate thickness, temperature and humidity. Next question, why is the TLC plate developed in a closed chamber? TLC plate is developed in a closed chamber to prevent solvent evaporation and to maintain a consistent environment for separation. Next question, what is the purpose of the developing solvent in TLC? The developing solvent mobile phase carries the sample components upwards on the plate separating them based on polarity. Next question, what types of mixtures can be separated using TLC? Organic mixtures, plant extracts, dyes, pharmaceutical and many other complex mixtures can be separated using TLC. Next question, how can TLC be used in reaction monitoring? TLC is used to track the progress of a chemical reaction by observing the disappearance of reactants and appearance of the products. Next question, what are some methods used to visualize spots on a TLC plate? Some common methods that are used to visualize spots on a TLC plate are first UV light. Many organic compounds source fluorescence under UV light allowing them to be seen on the TLC plate. Second is iodine vapor. Compounds absorb iodine vapor forming colored spots. Third is chemical stains. Specific reagents like ninhydrin for amino acids 
react with compounds on the plate to produce colored spots next question what is the role of the solvent front in tlc so answer is the solvent front marks the furthest point that the solvent has traveled on the tlc plate next question why is tlc considered a qualitative technique tlc is considered as a qualitative technique because it provides information about the presence or absence of compounds but does not provide precise quantitative data next question can tlc be used for quantitative analysis so answer is yes tlc can be used for semi quantitative analysis by comparing spot intensity with standards next question what are some advantages of tlc so advantages of tlc is it is simple fast inexpensive and allows simultaneous analysis of multiple samples next question what are some limitations of tlc it has limited resolution for complex mixtures and can be difficult to reproduce quantitatively next question what is the role of the adsorbent layer thickness in tlc the thickness of the adsorbent layer affect the separation resolution and the movement of the compounds next question why is it important to use a consistent solvent system in tlc it is important to use a consistent solvent system because consistency ensures reproducible rf values and better comparison of results next question what is capillary action in the context of tlc capillary action refers to the movement of the solvent through the stationary phase by adhesion and cohesion forces next question what are some typical applications of tlc typical application of tlc include purity testing identifying compounds monitoring reaction and checking product formulation next question how do you choose a solvent system for tlc so answer is the solvent system is chosen based on the polarity of the compounds being separated to achieve optimal rf values thank you i hope you like the video so please give a thumbs up and also show your support in the comment section please like share and subscribe my videos so i will get motivated to create more videos of this kind bye